water scarcity is happening everywhere in the world. And it is not only for developing or underdeveloped world, it is a global phenomenon. Many people are moving from rural areas to urban area. So naturally, the population is increasing and the living standard is increasing. So more and more water is being used. Not only that, climate change has a significant impact on water scarcity. The frequency of flood and drought is increasing. So it's a reality. India has a major problem with respect to water. Ours is a consumer society, so we have to generate more and more goods. So when in the industrial activities are increasing, naturally the water consumption will be increasing. And another thing is, lot of water resources are getting polluted because the waste generated is not getting treated properly. So the water resources are getting polluted. Once it is polluted, we will not be able to use it. My name is Liji Philip. I am a professor at IIT Madras. I was born in Balavur in Kottayam district of Kerala state in India. I, I was brought up in a village okay, which was a pristine village. Nature was clean, pollution free. Okay, naturally, it was a shock for me when we come from a pristine village where you have not even seen the pollution. And when you move to a city where everywhere you could see the pollution, it had an impact made me to think, okay, what can I do for the environment and how can I contribute a little bit from my side for the betterment of the environment. My goal is to work in the field of water and wastewater management and make a sustainable system with respect to water by employing recycling and reuse. My name is Atsushi Kobayashi. My role is the management of Tore India Water Research Center. We opened this research center in 2022 with the purpose of expanding our water treatment membrane business and contribute to solving water shortage problem in India. We'll be able to show our membrane's excellent performance through this study and encourage our customers to use our products. Also, we can provide better proposals to our customers through detailed on-site investigation by our R&D team. It was reported in uh, one magazine that uh, USA treats 60% of its wastewater, China treats 25% of its wastewater, whereas India treats only 2.5% of its wastewater. So this must change and we have to come up to the level of at least 20% in next 10 years. My name is Bharat Dharamwani and I look after Torre's water business in South Asia region, which comprises of countries like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal and Maldives. If you go back in time, roughly around 100 to 200 years, all the textiles were manufactured in England and USA by their companies. But they found out that the, this industry is extremely polluting and they shifted all the work to countries like Mexico, Bangladesh, Pakistan and India. The reason being that they didn't want to pollute their rivers and uh, their lakes. So the, this job was given to all the third world countries. But now these third world countries have their own environmental laws and regulations which are becoming strict every day. And this is where we have a problem. And this is where Tore has a solution as well. Tore provides uh, ultrafiltration, MBR and RO membranes which are uh, very often used uh, for treatment of uh, effluent. And if these are used correctly and the plant is designed correctly, then we will not have any environmental impact. 
Aldi Water is an OEM which is based in Ahmedabad. The company was started by Mr. Alok Patel and Mr. Deepak Parekh uh, approximately around seven years back. And from the day of their inception, we have been working very closely with them. I'm Deepak Parekh. I'm a director of Aldi Water. We are doing a total solution for the water, uh, WTP, ETP, recycling and zero discharge. We have designed and executed the system with the support of the Tore. Tore has supported us a lot during the designing system and uh, uh, during execution also Tore team has supported us a lot. Now India NGT is one of the institute from the central government and every state there is a pollution control board. They are very strict for the pollution norms. If you are considering the process house and any textile industries, the effluent coming out of particularly uh, from the textile industry is a very worse quality. If you are comparing the, the, all the textile and process houses, the TDS almost 10,000 to 10, 20,000 TDS, TOD is around 4,000. So these water quality you cannot dispose anywhere. If you are disposing openly or disposing to the river, ground water quality will be disturbed. We have a 12 MLD installation right now here for the ETP recycling system. The total plant, we have jointly worked with Detox and 12 MLD UF followed by RO system supplied by us. Up to 3 pass RO and up to 90% recovery we are giving to the total systems. So we are feeding the total 12 MLD water. We are taking the 90% recovery and the product water less than 500 TDS of water we are giving back for the reuse for the total industries. We have supplied 12 MLD of ultrafiltration system, uh, UF of the 90 meter square area, and uh, uh, first pass RO, we have used seawater membrane. First, uh, we have supplied two skid of RO system. We have installed the nano filtration. First, we are taking to the equalization tank. Equalization tank water we are feeding to the DEF. DEF, we are reducing the TSS load. They have an existing SBR. Then we are passing to the aeration system. Product water we are taking into the secondary clarifier. So clarifier outlet water we are feeding to the multigrade filter. They have a multigrade filter and activator carbon filter. Product of multigrade and activator carbon filter. So RO effluent particularly when you are getting 80 to 90% uh, recovery from ATP recycling system. This water we are giving back for the utility requirement, their boiler feed water or some other purpose. I am extremely proud of my company because the products that we supply, for example, RO membranes which are used for providing clean drinking water, whether it is a rural area or whether it is a big industrial unit, we provide RO membranes and they are used to providing clean water. Tore keeps on innovating and inventing new products uh, which can uh, help reduce our carbon footprint and provide uh, good solutions to people. For India, there is no other go than uh, recycling and reusing the water. Reduce, recycle, reuse, that is the three R. If you want to make the planet sustainable and if you want to achieve the sustainability goals of UN, we have to practice three R. And we are responsible for the next generation. We cannot eat up everything and leave them without anything. So we have to preserve the resources for them.